The new player's starting out on Daisy, it's rough. We've all been there. You can't find certain items to help you survive your first day in Chinaris, and you're about to throw in the towel. Before you do that, let me show you how to actually survive. My name is Bean, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to craft everything you need to become the ultimate survivalist. First off, we'll craft a knife. They have several life-saving uses, it's always wise to carry one with you. It's one of the first items you should craft if you can't find one lying around. You'll need two small stones in order to craft a stone knife. You can find small stones along train tracks, trail paths and dirt roads. If you have found a pickaxe, you can mine rocks to get large stones and further mine the large stones to get small stones. Combine the two small stones to craft a stone knife. Now you have your knife, you can kill and skin animals, defend yourself a little more from the infected and other players. You can also craft several other items, which we'll get into next. You can craft a rope using your knife, combining it with animal guts. Simply hold your knife in your hand and combine it with the guts. You can also create bone hooks, again with the knife in your hand, combine the knife with the bones to craft a bone hook. You can also craft a rope from two stacks of six rags. You can craft more rags from most items of clothing found throughout Genaris. Now with your knife, rope and hook, you're partway there to craft an efficient rod. Look for a large bush, cut it down to get a long stick. Combine the rope with the long stick to craft a fishing rod. Then, while holding your knife, look at the ground and dig up some worms. Combine the worms with your bone hook and combine the bone hook with the fishing rod. Go fishing in the ocean for mackerel or in lakes and ponds for carp. You can also cut out the seeds from vegetables. Dig a plot with a shovel, plant the seeds, give it some water, and you've got yourself a reliable food source. If you're wondering how to source other types of food, you should check out my how to find food and water guide linked in the description below. Cooking your food is not only more nutritious, but it'll prevent you from getting sick, especially if eating raw meat. As of now in the 1.10 update, food items spoil and no longer hold their heat. However, you can now dry your meat, fruit and vegetables so they last longer than they would otherwise. For this, you'll need to create a fire. You'll need kindling in the form of bark, paper or rags, and fuel in the form of short sticks or firewood. Using your knife, cut off bark from a tree. Put down a bush using either your knife, or an axe or hatchet, or with your hands. If you're using your hands, there's a chance you can cut yourself. If you do happen to have an axe or a hatchet, you can cut down a tree to get firewood, which will burn for longer than the sticks. Combine your kindling of choice with your fuel of choice to craft a fire. To light the fire, you can craft a hand drill. Again, with your knife, cut off a piece of bark and get a short stick from a bush, and combine the two together. While looking at the fire, you'll get the ignite prompt. You can build fires and fireplaces in the houses around Chinaris. This will open up the smoking slot where you can place food items to dry them out so they keep for longer. If you're in an emergency situation and can't make it to a house, in order to cook your food outside with the fire, you'll need a long stick from a big bush. Combine the long stick with your knife to sharpen it, and combine your meat, fruit or vegetables with the sharpened stick to cook it over the fire. Night time approaches, you can craft yourself a torch, using a long stick from a big bush and some rags. To keep the torch going, simply add more rags to it. You can also combine your torch with animal fat or petrol so it burns for longer. You 
You can now craft shelters. There are several different types of shelters to choose from, depending on the material you have available. Before you can craft your shelter, you'll need a shelter kit. You can make one of these by combining four short sticks with a piece of rope. Find that sweet spot and place your shelter kit. To craft a stick shelter, you'll need four long sticks and 50 short sticks. Once all items are attached, you'll get the prompt to craft your shelter. You can also craft a tarp shelter using four long sticks, four tarp, or a leather shelter using four long sticks and eight leather. To craft leather, you'll need to combine animal pelt with garden line. Next, we'll move on to weapons and craftable items you can wear. Since the 1.10 update, you can break your leg. If you manage to break your leg, to speed up the healing process, you'll need to craft a splint. For this, you'll need to combine two short sticks with four rags. There are also a couple of bags you can craft. By combining a rope with a burlap sack, you can craft yourself a courier bag. You can also combine your courier bag with three short sticks to craft a burlap backpack. You can make a fur courier bag or backpack by using a ball pelt instead of a burlap sack. If you're wanting to blend in with your environment, then you can craft yourself a ghillie. For these items, you'll need burlap strips, which you can craft by combining a burlap sack with your knife, and netting, which can be found along the coast and in sheds and garages around the map. To craft a ghillie hood, combine one netting with two burlap strips. To craft a shrug, you'll need to combine two netting with four burlap strips. To craft a cloak, combine three netting with six burlap strips. The suit is my personal favourite out of all of the ghillie items. For this, you'll need four netting combined with ten burlap strips. You can also make a ghillie gun wrap by combining one netting with two burlap strips. It's worth noting the ghillie gun wrap will block your view when holstered on your back. Craft yourself a nailed bat by combining nails with a wooden baseball bat. It has a great animation and it does a decent job at killing zombies. You can make a suppressor by combining a water bottle with duct tape. You'll get a few shots out of it before it is ruined. It's more ideal when combined with a scoped weapon, as the bottle suppressor will block your iron sight. By combining a hacksaw with a few of the weapons, such as the BK-18, the BK-43 and the Mosin, you can saw off the barrels. This makes them more ideal to fit in your bag. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, slap that subscribe button, click the ding dong, and swing by Twitch sometime for some live streams. If you have any questions or I missed anything, let me know down in the comments. Mwah!